Welcome back to Access Houston on 97.9 The Box. Good Sunday morning. You're listening to Access Houston. I'm your host, KG Smooth. Uh, welcoming back. I believe this may be Candace's first time on the program. TJ has definitely been on Access Houston. So we want to welcome TJ and Candace Ford to the program this morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How you Good doing? morning and welcome. Uh, everything's all right. You know, I'm Good. sounding a little funny, but uh, <laughs> we're going to get through this thing. Um, you all are doing something great for the great people of Houston and people who have stepped up during uh, the devastation of Hurricane Harvey. Uh, but before we get into the first annual um, Winter Wonderland Gala, um, tell us about your organization and the nonprofit that you two have together because there, uh, I'm sure there are some people who may not be familiar um, with the foundation. Um, I have a foundation called Project Beautiful Me, and it's under the umbrella of the T.J. Ford Foundation. And on my aspect, I'm geared toward empowering young teenage girls, trying to help them with different life skills so that they can be successful women in life. So we offer like mentorship programs. We do college tours. Um, For my senior girls, we have an event that we do every March that's called our Beautiful Me empowerment session and we have a one day event filled with different speakers that come empower the girls and for the senior girls at the end we provide them with prom dresses and shoes and we do hair and makeup for them nice what was the um inspiration behind that um just you know seeing what some of the girls are facing now it's Mm -hmm. different compared to when i was young so just trying to be a positive platform for them and offer you know some guidance and counseling you know for those young girls yeah, indeed. And then TJ, talk about the uh, basketball academy, the TJ Ford Basketball Academy. <laughs> I've been Excuse doing it for a while since I retired, and you're just trying to give back and teach kids leadership and, and a mentorship program to try to keep kids on the right track um, and, and try to show them the importance of just education and being a, what, a, what a true student athlete should be. Mm-hmm. Um, and trying to just give these kids the proper um, tools and give them the vehicle to allow them to see what success is and, and understand what comes with success and how do you get there. And just trying to be um, a, a good leader for these these young men and, and young women as a, as a family as a whole because we have kids as well, and just trying to be impactful for a place that you know we love tr- you know real real dearly to our heart and that's that's giving back to our community. Indeed, and listen to Access Houston. We're talking to TJ and Candace Ford. Um, they're having the first annual Winter Wonderland Gala this Thursday, November the thirtieth. Um, let's talk about Harvey. First of all, how, how did you all hold up during Harvey? Well, I mean, fortunately, we was, you know, everything was okay for us. I mean, we had to okay. evacuate, but as far as our home, no, no, no real damage. We just got, you know, time to spend with my mother, so we ended up going to my mother's house and, and spending time over there for two or three days. But we know a lot of people in our neighborhood and around the city of Houston got affected really, really bad, and we didn't want to just want to jump out there right away and create mm-hmm. and do a bunch of events. And uh, you had a lot of great people doing a lot of things in the city, and uh, we just felt that, you know, once we – Things settle down. We'll see after the aftermath what we could do to um, really plan and be effective. And you know, my wife came up with this winter event that allows us to to help a lot of families that are still in need that that uh, hasn't seeked out and got any help yet. Indeed, walk us through that, Ken. Just like uh, how did this just the idea and the name everything come about? Um, it came about because we like my husband um, said. A lot of times, you know, everybody pour out and give like right immediately when something happens. But then what happens a month or two or three or four months later? And then in the midst of it, we knew that a lot of families were devastated and they wouldn't be able to have a Christmas that they would want to have. So that's why I was like, well, maybe we can try to help them some way to alleviate some of that financial burden so they can still, you know, try to have some normalcy. Indeed. And uh, and it's happening on Thursday. Yes. <clears throat> Thursday, November the 30th. Uh, it'll be at um, Fountain Life Center. You guys got some, um, y'all got some heavy hitters. Mm-hmm. <laughs> First of all, <laughs> Jonathan Martin and Fox 26 and Melinda Spalding will be uh, hosting. And then and talk about the people who you're going to be honoring and why you chose these individuals. We, we chose can- the individuals because they're a positive influence for the Houston community and they've done so much in the wake of the hurricane. So we wanted to honor them for, you know, their outstanding efforts for, you know, trying to restore some normalcy back into the lives of, you know, some of the Houston community. 
Indeed. And uh, it's, it's an evening of celebration and giving. Mm-hmm. They're going to be honoring uh, these people, as Candace just mentioned, uh, Pastor John and Aventer Gray, <laughs> uh, Pastor Remus and Mia Wright, our first daughter, Ashley Turner, uh, H-Town and music legend <laughs> Bun B, uh, the lovely Wendy J. Turner. Uh, and as I mentioned earlier, hosted by Jonathan Martin of Fox 26 and uh, Melinda Spalding, who is now the vice president for uh, university advancement for TSU. Yes. And um, and there's going to be uh, some special appearances as well. Yes. So uh, so this is because what's, what's the dress? Is this black tie? Yes, a black tie event. Um, mm-hmm. We're trying to dress up, get your gowns, get your suits out and let's, you know, celebrate for a cause. Indeed. So um, get your tickets now. Where can people get more information? Where do they need to go? Um, we have the um, link on Eventbrite, Winter Wonderland Gala 2017 at Eventbrite. We also, if you go to projectbeautifulme.com, you can donate uh, money or you can get ticket sales at projectbeautifulme.com. Okay. Let's um, just switch gears just a little bit because <laughs> it's because we have some time. Uh, to you know, I, you mentioned that you all have kids. There's a lot that is going on just in the world when it comes to social media, uh, when it comes to uh, politics, when it comes to the whole you know Black Lives Matter, when it comes to the NFL players kneeling because of the social injustice done to Black folks. How is it in your household um, when conversations like these come up with the kids? Like, how do y'all? handle or uh, communicate to your kids about what is going on and how, you know, people of color are treated. I mean, it's, it's, it's unique. It's touchy. Um, it is uncomfortable. Um, you know, but, you know, we, we have to explain to our kids the scenarios of, of what's going on in society. Um, I think for me, it's just allow uh, for us to just give our kids a voice and, and let them, kind of tell us how they really, really feel. I think for every individual person, you have, you know, the right to feel however you want to feel and mm-hmm. whatever approach you want to take, whatever actions you want to take, uh, feel free. I'm, I'm not one of those guys because one person do it, then, you know, I, I just jump on a bandwagon because everyone is doing it. Uh, I, I think for me, it's just teaching our kids how to, you know, understand, you know, if you go down these different lanes, you know, what can happen. Um, uh, protect yourself. Um, no right, no wrong, and, and um, may you just pray that your kids don't get in these situations that's happening with other people that we've been right. seeing across the country. And uh, I think it's change coming. It's a lot of people been doing a lot of great things of, of putting attention, you know, on police brutality. And um, I just think this new generation, I think racism, I, they look at things a little different from my perspective. Mm-hmm. Um, and I, I just think you're trying to get rid of the old habits of the, of the older generations. Mm-hmm. Um, that's that's causing the you know, the change not to happen as quickly, but yeah. And I really feel that it's going to take a couple of generations to die Mm -hmm. off Mm -hmm. um, before we don't, you know, see any of the stuff that we still see today. You know, kids don't really, they don't really notice it like we did though. You know what I mean? I think my kids go to school. It's a lot of diversity in schools. Mm -hmm. Um, They don't look at color. You don't ever hear them say that. And that's the great thing about Mm -hmm. the younger generation, because (laughs) to your point, TJ, I have noticed that with the younger, like they don't see color. They don't see sexual orientation. They don't see social economic status. Um, So it it, it is very um, hopeful. Um, Did your kids have any uh, issues when once Trump got in office? I got bombarded with um, emails and just talking to people, mm-hmm. teachers, because I have some friends that are that are teachers. Right. And they were talking about how they students were showing up the next day crying, you know, a lot of the Mexican kids, because they thought that they were going to get, you know, deported. deported. And mm-hmm. now, you know, with what's in place now, you know, I hear that ICE is just popping up around H-Town and just mm-hmm. rounding some folks up. So they, I, I was like, well, man, <laughs> now looking at it, they, they have a legitimate reason For to concern. be scared. Yes. Like, it's just... Such a crazy time. And then we got the whole issue with GQ naming Colin Kaepernick Citizen of the Year. I'm listening to a certain sports program uh, yesterday morning, 
and they were going off because they were like, oh, GQ was wrong. They should have given it to J.J. Watt. He raised $37 million for the victims of Harvey and all that. And I was like, you know what? Yeah, that, that would have been dope. That, yes, I'm not going to argue that point. But don't discount yes. Collins' Uh, his mission exactly. and what he has been doing. Exactly. Yes, J.J. Watt did an incredible thing mm-hmm. by raising $37 million for the victim of Hurricane Harvey in Houston, Texas. However, what Colin Kaepernick is doing and has done, he was doing this before he took his stance on the kneeling. He has l- lost his total livelihood because of what he believes mm-hmm. in. And he's still continuing to put his money where his mouth is exactly. and and motivate and mentor these kids. And that's going to keep and he's going to keep on with that. So exactly. I was like, you know, I see what they're saying. But in the totality of it. of it all, I think he's very deserving. It is. It's a different scope. Yeah. It's just a different scope. And I, he's going to his legacy will be known more for this than whatever he did on the on football, football field. field. Yeah. More than that ring. Yeah. I mean, he got to continue to do it. I mean, for his legacy to continue, he has to continue to be, you know, impactful. He has to continue to, you know, carry this out for as long as it, it really takes. I think him being on the GQ is, um, I don't see how people can argue that. I don't think yeah, you can argue yeah, yeah. if J.G.Y. made you know, it two shoes. But I think I for, could say something, but I would upset <laughs> a lot of folk <laughs> if I, I were to say what I'm really thinking right now about how people feel about Colin being on the cover, but you know, beyond that, but, but I do want to say that I am not discounting what JJ Watt did for this city because that man is, he is a martyr. He is a pillar of this community and what he did is going without them. So I am in no way discounting that at all. But if you look at what Colin is doing, I mean, this is a, is a, is a worldwide thing that he's, he's talking about. JJ did it for the city of Houston, but I think, you know, Colin, he, he he's speaking to everybody around around the world of of dealing with these issues of of prejudice, uh, of brutality, and I think um, you know I commend him. I mean, he's 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 one out of a million guys that had the courage to step up there and and, and, and take a stance. And, yeah, and, and do that's it. That's not yeah. that's not easy to do. It's not. And uh, <laughs> hopefully, you know, as a community, we just keep supporting him and, and, and we keep. Um, finding ways to help him out with his mission. Yeah, well, we can help him out by getting our stuff together. That's right. You know, we have to do that. You know, I got a chance to see Hove when he was here uh, a couple of weeks ago at Toyota, and he was like, you know, this thing, that's what's going on. It's not a black and white issue. Mm -hmm. It's a human issue. Mm -hmm. You know, if your son go home, your son goes to school, and then he doesn't come home because he gets shot, like that, that should, that's going to affect you, and it should affect everybody in this building. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's not a black and white issue. It's a human issue, he was Mm -hmm. saying. And I was like, man. I preach, Hovey Ho, but (laughs) what you guys are doing on Thursday is incredible, too. The first annual Winter Wonderland Gala uh, from the TJ Ford Academy and Project Beautiful Me. Um, They are going to be honoring and highlighting some of uh, Houston's finest who stepped up to the plate during the Hurricane Harvey devastation. Pastor John and Aventure Gray, Pastors Remus and Mia Wright, Bun B, Ashley Turner, uh, Dewar Sharp, hosted by Jonathan Martin of Fox 26 and Melinda Spaulding, who is now the vice president of the University of Advancement at uh, TSU. So um, save the date for Thursday. You can uh, get more information and get your tickets at projectbeautifulme.com. That's projectbeautifulme.com. Did I miss anything, guys? What else should the people know? Also, we're going to have a live mini concert by the wonderful Kenny Lattimore. Kenny Lattimore, yes. 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 He, okay, Kenny, yes. And please forgive me for saying that. You know, There's another young lady that's on that flyer that she's a part of our competition, so I can't mention her name. But, you know, hey, it is what it is. It is what it is. But uh, save the date. Log on to Beautiful Me. Project Beautiful Me. Excuse me. Log on to projectbeautifulme.com for more information and to purchase uh, your tickets. TJ and Candace Ford. Good to see y'all. Thank you for coming through. Thank Thank you. you. Good Sunday morning. You're listening to Access Houston. I'm your host, KG Smooth. Uh, Please excuse my voice. Still dealing with some whatever the allergies is. Like it's just something that's just sitting on my throat and is uh, bothering me. It's got me sounding a little little froggy. Uh, But good morning. We are welcoming uh, for the first time on the program, Mr. Fred Goodall, who is the marketing director for 
Baker Ripley. Good morning, sir, and welcome. Good morning. Thank you for having me on the show. Uh, it's good to be here. Normally, uh, Christina would be here. Uh, uh, so it's glad to have you uh, on the program to talk about the TXU Energy Baker Ripley Turkey Trot that's going to be happening on a Thursday morning, Thanksgiving morning. Um, tell us about the Turkey Trot. What is the Turkey Trot? So we've had this event for 25 years in Houston. Uh, wow. It is an it's an annual event. So much family fun. There's a 5K race, a 10K race, and a kids race. Mm -hmm. uh, lots of events for the family, lots of events for the kids. There will be music. There will be food. But this is something that we do to support our agency, Baker Ripley. It's our biggest uh, public event mm -hmm. every year. It supports the work that we do to help Houstonians earn, learn, and belong and make this place a welcoming uh, city of opportunity for everybody. Nice. And so um, what can people expect on uh, this this great Thanksgiving morning when they attend? Well, they can expect about 15,000 uh, of their fellow Houstonians hanging out with them that morning. Uh, but uh, it, it's just so much excitement. Uh, so many people come out there and... Uh, just, just so much to do. As I mentioned, uh, there are the races, the 5K race, the 10K race, and the, and the kids race. You can run it, you can walk it, or you can even register and uh, pick the sleep in registration uh, option. <laughs> and you don't even have to come out there that day. Wow. Uh, so, uh, so if you just want to sleep in and eat your turkey, uh, that's fine too. But we love to have you out there because it's so much fun and you really enjoy yourself. Indeed. Where can, um, if people still have time, yes, to register, right? Yes, people still have time. The online registration ends on Tuesday, and the website is uh, HoustonTurkeyTrot.org. You can go there and get all the information. You can go there and register, and uh, we hope to see you out there. Indeed. Uh, you're listening to Access Houston. We're talking to Fred Goodall, who's the marketing director at Baker Ripley. Um, we get a lot of people that um, move to Houston, and they may not be familiar with Baker Ripley and what you all do. I mean, you all have been really uh, change agents throughout this whole Hurricane Harvey yes. um, disaster um, with the volunteers and just manning a, a lot of the shelters right. and, 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 and providing people with uh, supplies that they need. Um, but, yeah, just... Tell us about Baker Ripley for those who may not be familiar with sure. uh, the organization. Right. So Baker Ripley has been uh, operating in this region for 110 years. Uh, just last year, we changed our name. Many people may know us by Neighborhood Centers. Right. Uh, that was our former name at the end of last year. Uh, we were we merged with the Ripley Foundation, and uh, you know Alice Graham Baker is the founder of the organization. Uh, the Ripley family is instrumental in planning community centers, which is what we do. Uh, throughout the city of Houston. So we combine that heritage and that legacy and uh, form Baker Ripley. Uh, and we continue to support this community. We continue to do things around immigration, around education, about wor workforce development, uh, uh, senior services, dementia care, caregiver services, so many things to help support this Houston region. And we want to continue doing that. Uh, you mentioned uh, about the Hurricane Harvey uh, we operated the shelter at NRG Center. Uh, we served about uh, 7,000 guests uh, during that three or four week period. Uh, and it was just a blessing for us to be able to help out the community in this way. Uh, we just we just felt we needed to do something. And that was our opportunity to support the city and to help the city and, and to help people get back on their feet. And right now we're deeply involved in recovery efforts, long-term recovery efforts. Uh, we have distribution centers. We have people going out canvassing neighborhoods to see who needs help and how we can help them. Uh, just so much activity going on to support people who are affected by Harvey because we want this city to be restored and the people to be restored and Houston to move forward. Indeed, indeed. I, you couldn't have said it better. You listen to Access Houston. Mr. Fred Goodall, the marketing director at Baker Ripley, uh, is here um, telling us about the Houston Turkey Trot, which is happening on Thursday, Thanksgiving morning. Uh, when does registration start? Like, when does the lineup? Everything starts early in the morning, right? Yes, it right? starts early in the morning. Uh, people start getting there probably around 6 a.m. Okay. Uh, the, the 10K race, uh, I, I can't remember the exact start times, but you can go to HoustonTurkeyTrot.org and see all the details and when the races start. Uh, but we get there uh, pretty early in the morning, get things set up, and uh, all of our friends start to arrive, and the party just begins as soon as all the people start arriving. Yeah, indeed. So um, get your running shoes. Make sure that you register at HoustonTurkeyTrot.org. That's HoustonTurkeyTrot.org. Um, what else should the people know 
Mr. Goodall? Um, just now, as I mentioned, uh, this is our 25th uh, anniversary, and we've had families who's, who have run the race all 25 years. Wow, that's and, and that's incredible. That and it's just incredible to hear their stories. Uh, I mean, there's one story of a, of a gentleman. Uh, I mean, he's been running with us from the start, and he had cancer, and he defeated the cancer. But through all of this, he was dedicated to coming out to this uh, Houston Turkey Trot. And it, he said it's just something important for him and something important for his family. And uh, he just wanted to make sure that this is a tradition that, that lived throughout his family. He wasn't going to allow that cancer to keep him uh, from doing that. I know that's right. That, that's good stuff. So um, save the date for Thursday morning. Uh, to participate in the Turkey Trot. Um, Robert Baseman Washington from our sister station, Magic 102.1, uh, will be down there uh, hosting. And he, he actually runs. He runs okay, um, that's great. 5Ks and, and a lot. So, so, I, so he can get off the mic and get right, directly yeah, into so, the yeah, So when you said that, I was like, hey, y'all got the right one because he, he right. does a lot of 5K right. runs. Right. Uh, again, you can get all of the information and register for the Turkey Trot at HoustonTurkeyTrot.org. That's HoustonTurkeyTrot.org. And uh, if they just want information um, on Baker Ripley, where should they go? Where they can they? go to BakerRipley.org. They can learn all about our organization, all the programs and services that we have, and how they can get involved in volunteering. Also, if you would like to volunteer at the Turkey Trot, uh, go to our Baker Ripley page uh, under the Volunteer tab, and you can sign up. Uh, to be a volunteer, because uh-huh. as you can imagine, with 15,000 people out yeah, there, need we need a lot of volunteers need to, to, to support us, uh, so so you can do that. But there are a lot of volunteer opportunities as well, and we'd like you to come and help us out and join us sometime. Indeed, yeah. Go ahead and volunteer. Baker Ripley, they are an incredible people, have done tremendous work here uh, in the city for all of these years. So, Houston, let's let's give back. Man, Mr. Goodall, thank you, sir, for oh, coming thank through you. Thank on the you. program. I appreciate it. And, and indeed. And get all of the information one more time at HoustonTurkeyTrot.org. Do some good. Volunteer. Give back. Thanksgiving morning. That's what it's about. It's the season of giving. So what better way to give than to volunteer and give your time? And it's early in the morning. And then you'll have enough time to get back home and get in your pajamas, eat, be fat and merry, and watch football and, you know. Go to sleep. Yes, come and earn your turkey that day. By come running, and earn, there <laughs> you go. Run, run those races. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Fred Goodall, Marketing Director at Baker Ripley. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you for listening to Access Houston.